Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indie. Today we're going to be doing damage to the enemy. We are going to be using interfaces. Now, I just brought up the documentation for Unreal Engine interfaces so we can go over the definition. Interface classes are useful for ensuring that a set of potentially unrelated classes implement a common set of functions. It is very useful in cases where some game functionality may be shared by large complex classes that are otherwise dissimilar. So that's what we're going to be doing today. What we need to do is we need to go into C++ classes, Wukong, public, and then enemy. As you can see here, C++ class, uh, classes, Wukong, public, and enemy. I'm going to right click, create a new class, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see Unreal Engine interface. Go ahead and click next. And we are going to call this Melee Hit Interface. And Melee Hit Interface. And we are going to create the class. that has to compile real quick and then we will hop into the code. Okay, so we're in the code and what I'm going to do is I need to commit these files real quick. Say adding melee hit interface. Interface. I just want to commit that real quick because that red up there really bothers me for some reason. Okay. So here in interfaces, you don't have any logic inside the CPP. Add default functionality here for any melee hit interface functions that are not pure virtual. So most likely you don't put any logic in the CPP file. At least that's my understanding from software development as uh, in the past. So with Unreal Engine, we have to do certain things. And we are going to make this Blueprint native event and Blueprint callable. So under general body, right here in the public section, we are going to do we are going to create a U function. And we're going to make this blueprint native event. So we're going to do blueprint native event and blueprint callable. And we're going to do a void melee hit. Then we're going to do an F hit result because we're going to pass that in. F hit result and do hit result. And that's about it for the melee hit interface. So we're going to be using a melee hit function and we're going to be passing in the hit result. Okay, so we're inside the Wukong character.cpp file. And we are going to do an include, and we're going to do enemy folder, and we are going to do melee hit interface.h. So we need to include that. So after we've included the header, we need to find on right weapon overlap. So now that we have the included header, file we need to go to on right weapon overlap we're still inside the wukong character cpp file and you see here we have the apply damage so what we need to do is we need to do an i melee hit interface because you start with i because it's an interface and it's going to be a pointer and we do melee hit interface and what we need to do is just cast it to I melee hit interface. And what we are going to do is bring in the, the sweep result. Because you notice 
like right inside here, we did F hit result. So we're passing that in. That's an in interface.h, as you can see here. So we need to pass that in. So we are going to do F hit result sweep result right here. So what we want to do is we want to do sweep result dot get actor. That way we know what we hit. So, and then what we need to do is we need to just do if melee hit interface, melee hit interface. We gotta make sure it's valid. And then do melee hit interface. And then we need to do melee hit implementation. This is how Unreal Engine does that. Uh, make, don't choose melee hit. Make sure it's melee hit implementation. And then we need to pass in the sweep result. So, and then we just apply damage now. So now we need to go into the enemy file. So let's go ahead and close out the melee hit interface. I don't think we're going to be needing that anymore. So we need to go into the enemy class. So let's go to enemy.h, open that up. Enemy.cpp, open that up. We go to enemy.h down at the public section, which we don't have. This is where I usually set all the getters and setters. Okay, but what we are going to do here is override melee hit interface. Override melee hit interface. This will make sense once once we start doing this. Virtual void melee hit. Whoops. Melee hit implementation implementation you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy this from my other project so we need a virtual void melee hit implementation F hit result hit result override and we're getting an error and the error says function void melee blah 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 has the override simplifier but does not override a base class member and the reason that it does not implement base class member is because we need to come up here and inside here where class is wukong a enemy public character so we created the enemy class from the public character but also we are doing an interface so we need to do i melee hit interface so and make sure that you include the melee hit interface in the header file Writer just does it automatically for me, so most of the time I just don't worry about it unless I see an error and it didn't include it, then I'll go and include the header file that I need. So make sure you include the header file. That's in enemy.h. And right here on the class, when you're creating the class, a enemy, a public, put a comma, public I melee hit interface. Now when you scroll down, virtual void we're going to do melee hit implementation so we got virtual void melee hit implementation f hit result passing in hit result and it's an override because we're overriding it now what we need to do is we need to actually create this because is not implemented so we'll just go ahead and create the definition generate definition so now we have the definition f hit result and 
I'm going to take this out. I don't think I need that. Now the melee hit implementation hit result. This is where you can do things like show a health bar, uh, impact sound. So let's just make some comments. Uh, do impact sound. And also you can do like Niagara effects. I say play Niagara effects, things like that. Play hit montage. We'll be creating that later. Okay, so inside the manual hit implementation, you can do things like the impact sound, the Niagara effects, play hit montage, things like that. So this, we've just set up the interface to get things going. Now this is going to be a two-part video because this can get kind of long. What we are going to do next is we're actually going to go into the character on the on right weapon overlap, we are going to, instead of saying apply damage, we are actually going to be doing the U gameplay statics, apply damage, and then inside the enemy.cpp file, we are going to be doing the take damage. So that's going to be in the next video. Uh, I don't want to make this too long. In that next video, I'm going to try and get done in the next couple of days. So that's all I have. This is how you set up the interfaces for doing the damage and that's all i have for today bye for now